Hey, how's it going? David in Arc here. Today I'm going to show you real quickly how you uh, enable the Guardian updates for Google Classroom. So the first thing you're going to do is hop into your classroom. And um, one of the things that uh, you need to be aware of before we get started is that uh, the Guardian emails have to be enabled at your domain level. So you'll uh, may need to get with your Google administrator in order to turn those on. For most folks, though, they are already going to be available. You just have to turn them on for your class. So to do that, you're going to go over to the gear over on the right hand side. And in there, that'll bring up your class details. Then if you scroll down, you will see Guardian summaries. There's an example here. So to get an example of what the Guardian summaries look like, um, what happens is that the guardian will get an email and, and the guardian is whoever you put in as the guardian for the Google Classroom, uh, whatever their email address is. Uh, the summaries include missing work, upcoming work, and class activities. So um, by default, they're turned off. However, as you'll see here, we'll be able to turn those on in just a second. But here is a sample summary that the Guardian would receive. Uh, student work, what was missing from last week? What is due the next week? And then other activities, what assignments did they do? What questions did they answer? And it is broken down by each of the subjects where the teacher has uh, enabled these Guardian emails. All right. So that's what they look like. And again, I'm in settings and there is just a simple toggle switch. Do I want to turn these on? Now, when you turn them on, it's going to ask you, do you want to turn these on? Uh, do you want to turn them on? First of all, second of all, there's a little checkbox, add all of the classes that you teach to the, uh, to the guardian email summaries. Uh, I would probably just leave that checked. And then that way, if guardians are getting the emails, then they'll get them. If you uncheck that, then that means that you are turning on the guardian summaries for just this particular class. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that checked, add to the class. And now guardian summaries have been enabled. So one of the things that I can do is after I save this, then if I go and look at the people in my classroom, you can see that I can invite a guardian to this class, in which case I can add their email address. So I can add this person in here and I can invite them as a guardian to uh, this particular student. Now that's one thing that you have to also uh, remember or realize is that that is a per student thing. So the guardian does not get any kind of email summaries or access or anything like that to any of the other students. They can just simply uh, get a, an email regarding their students progress in the class. That's how easy it is. Easy peasy, set it up and you call it good. So that is how you enable Guardian emails and add in the Guardians on Google Classroom. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.